Well, let's bring in Senator Rick Scott, a Republican from Florida, former Florida governor. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for being here. Listen, your state has seen uh, storms much larger than this one, but in this COVID-19 moment, there's other complications. Talk to us about what you're doing in Florida. Well, first, I've been talking to Ken Graham at the National Hurricane Center, then, you know, state and local officials. Everybody's ready. Uh, everybody is hoping that this stays off our shore. We know that we're going to get some flooding. Uh, everyone's got to stay out of the water. Uh, you've got to be very careful about rip currents. Uh, but, uh, you know, the hard thing is going to be is, uh, you know, our shelters. It, uh, you're going to have to, you know, socially distance around our shelters. So hopefully this will stay off our shore and hopefully we'll have a hurricane season where uh, we don't have to open up uh, like we did with Irma. I think I, I had to open up 700 shelters. So I hope everybody stays safe today. The big thing is stay out of the water and keep watching uh, the weather. Senator, I want to shift over to some politics because many Americans are waiting right now to see what happens with a coronavirus relief package. We see Democrats and Republicans uh, debating that out. Is there some sense of urgency on Capitol Hill that politicians need to get something done because Americans are counting on that relief and they're counting on it to come quickly? Well, clearly we need to get something done. We have to keep, take care of those that have lost their jobs and we have to get our economy open, help our small businesses. But the Democrats have no urgency. Uh, last week, they blocked uh, an extension of the unemployment benefits at the current level. And they also blocked a proposal to say, you know, we'll uh, compensate people at, the, at two thirds of their compensation. They blocked both of those. So they, the Democrats have no sense of urgency. But I would like to get something done. I know the Republicans in the Senate want to get something done. Let's help those that have lost their jobs. Let's this, get this economy open. Let's help our small businesses get going again. Uh, but unfortunately, the Democrats, they just want to waste your money. They, I mean, they're, they're talking about they've already spent $3 trillion, and about at least a trillion that has not been spent. They want to spend another $3 trillion. They want to bail out. They want Florida taxpayers to pay for New York or Illinois or California's prior pension problems prior bad budgets and stuff like that. I mean, this is just a grab bag for Democrats taking advantage of, of a crisis and trying to spend every dime you have. Somebody's going to pay for this down the road. I want to make sure we take care of people, but don't waste your money. Yeah, Senator, it sure looks uh, unlikely like a deal is going to be forthcoming. Meanwhile, for the parents of teenagers all across the country, this issue of TikTok and the president threatening to ban TikTok, which led to the general manager of TikTok in the U.S. saying it's not going anywhere. What is the latest that you see on this? You actually uh, took a lead on this. Yeah, we here's what we all have to understand, that communist China is run by the Communist Party she, the general secretary of the Communist Party, has decided to clearly be our adversary. Whether it's TikTok, some of the apps like TikTok, or whether it's Chinese drones, these are being used to get America, information about Americans to surveil us. They are, Communist China has decided to be our adversary. And it's, it's hard to acknowledge this, but you know, we're, we're now in a Cold War again. So, yeah, I have a bill uh, with Senator Hawley that says that, you know, federal workers are not going to be able to use TikTok as an app on their phones. But the truth is, no Americans should because it's just basically an opportunity for the Chinese party, the Communist Chinese Party, to surveil us. Same with don't buy Chinese drones. They're going to surveil us. That's what they're doing. Senator, you're right. We are in a new Cold War. Uh, Huawei is another example. They want to use 5G to try to uh, yeah. to penetrate our companies, our, our infrastructure. Uh, it, it, will there be a bipartisan consensus in this idea of a Cold War? Uh, Democrats have been much more muted in their criticism, talking about TikTok, talking about the communist Chinese. I mean, they're all leftists at some level. Uh, but it, do you think there's a, amongst senators and others, is there a willingness to stare down China on Capitol Hill? Well, there's clearly, uh, you know, bipartisan, uh, you know, support of trying to hold China accountable until Joe Biden was the nominee. And we know Joe Biden's soft on China. We know President Trump has been tough on China. Mm -hmm. he's, hold, he's held communist China accountable. So now the Democrats have had to uh, pivot and, and not, and be, you know, not, not, no, don't, don't attack China because Joe Biden, you know, he doesn't believe China's a problem. We know China's a problem. I mean, look, they have a million people in prison for, just for their religion. They take away the basic rights of Hong Kong citizens. They militarize the South China Sea. I mean, they are clearly decided, she has clearly decided to be our adversary. We've got to show up and Joe Biden and Democrats are getting, so, they've, they've been soft.
Mm -hmm. Senator Rick Scott joining us from Florida. Senator, thanks for taking time, and we will be thinking and praying for all of Floridians down there as ECS yeah. uh, approaches your state. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.